Coming up today on the link, Tanya Whitlock with West Georgia Technical College is here, and Paulo Manso de Sousa is going to tell us all about the Nutcracker. It's that time of the year. Don't go away. Welcome to The Link. I'm Lana Mobley. And I'm Mark Whitlock. It is the first week of December. Can you believe it? It's hard to believe. <laughs> Things are happening. They are happening. I am going to be talking with Paulo Manso de Sousa about the Nutcracker. Right. I can't wait. December 16th and 17th. He does such a good job. And this particular presentation brings all the school children in from all the schools, including parents and then the little toddlers. And they, he and his staff work with them every day and weekly until the 16th, and I can't wait to see the performances. Lana, you know, we have we have world-class talent mm -hmm. in Coweta County. Paolo Manzo de Souza and Southern he, Art Dancers, he is world-class. He is. I'm not sure people understand the right. opportunity that our, our young students are getting by, right. by having the chance to see that. Right. He has danced all over the yes, world. He yes, he so has. And so I can't wait to see the Nutcracker. He puts that local touch to it, and yeah. I love the fact that he includes the community in all that he does. Absolutely, in so, everything. Mm -hmm, so I can't wait. And you're going to be talking with Tanya Whitlock from I'm, West Georgia Technical College. I'm going to be talking with Dr. Tanya Whitlock, and we're going to talk about West Georgia Technical College. Among the 22 technical colleges in the state of Georgia, West Georgia Tech is one of a few where enrollment continues to rise. And that's Tanya's area of responsibility. We're going to talk some about that and about the unique role of West Georgia Technical College. You know, it doesn't surprise me, knowing Tanya the way I do, yep. such a fireball Absolutely. and go-getter, and she is so dedicated in her field. But when you think about what West Georgia Tech offers to all of our area students here, both you know, young people and, you know, uh, people like me that go right. back for continuing education. Right. It really speaks to a lot of people across our community. You know, it's become a way for people to change careers. Mm -hmm. Retool. Retool. I call it graduate school mm -hmm. for some. There are lots of right. people who finish the bachelor's degree and then mm -hmm. want to get more um, focused on a particular career mm -hmm. area, so they go to West Georgia Tech. Right, yeah. right. Well, she's done a great job, and yes, I, I'm, I look forward to, to hearing her all about that. Well, the Christmas parade is this coming Sunday, the 10th, I think it is. Um, Hard to believe. It, it, having it at night at 6 o'clock is even more fun. Yeah. All of us at New Link will be there filming. We have several students that will be helping us film. And then I saw in the paper recently where there's going to be a movie th uh, actually filmed that night. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. So we want to encourage everyone to put that on their calendars too. Absolutely. There's so much happening in there this is. community. I know. Yeah. My calendar's full. Absolutely. Everybody's calendar's <laughs> I know. full. I know. And it's a great time to have that happen. It is. Yeah. We have a lot coming up today on The Link, as you heard. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Tis the season, and at HSN, we're making your holiday happier. With gifts for everyone on your list. Bose, HP, Lancome, Vince Camuto, Wolfgang Puck, Fitbit, Apple, and Benefit. All on FlexPay. It's our exclusive buy now, get now, pay later way to holiday. Why pay full price today when you can pay over time? Oh, what fun it is to make HSN your home for the holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone. It is December and we are all getting ready for the Nutcracker. And here to tell us all about what we're going to be looking forward to is Paulo Manso de Sousa. Paulo, it's always so fun to have you here. Great to be here, Lana. You finished up the segment and the beautiful... So uh, Dodge. Uh, so Dodge with <laughs> Courtney, Courtney Bud. So now you're getting ready for the Nutcracker. From tell me all about it. It's that time of year. It's one of the family favorites, mm -hmm. and it's a perfect little girl's dream of her, her uncle gives her this beautiful nutcracker. She falls asleep, and he becomes a prince, and he takes her to the land of magic, <laughs> of chocolate and all the wonderful candies, and it ends up with the sugar plum mm -hmm. duet, which is beautiful. It's going to be at the Wadsworth. We're sponsored by mm -hmm. the... Noonan Cultural Arts Commission, December 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. 16 is at 7.30, 17 Saturday is at uh, 5 o'clock. 
They can purchase tickets online. They can go see www.southernartdance.org or tutu tickets. Okay. Forward slash Southern Art Dance. Um, and there, it's only twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Great. Great and ticket. now the Wadsworth has been renovated recently. They've done some renovation. This is phase one. I think okay. they have a phase two. And yeah, we love doing it. Okay, We're let's local. talk about We're the dancers. Newner. All the dancers are local, right? Dancers are all local. Nutcracker is the one performance that we get to bring the school kids in. We have How lots of beautiful fun. little mice and soldiers oh. and angels and flowers and they all love it but how <laughs> they do you all love it. how do you wrangle these children do they have dance experience a lot of work a lot of aspirins <laughs> 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 they do they we train every day the older kids um uh older kids they're early teenage mm -hmm. uh, years they train every day they come in for a ballet class a wow. jazz class a tap class all the different disciplines and the younger ones the three four year olds usually come in once a week and it's on saturday how precious and it's they are they're... now who does all your costuming we have uh two two ladies who mm -hmm. they're they're part of our toes mm -hmm. team of enthusiastic supporters oh how clever! And, did you create? Uh, they, did you come up with that name? I did. Toes, <laughs> of team of enthusiastic support, <laughs> and uh, they, yeah, they've, they've, they've helped with costumes, and they've made the soldiers, the mice, the, the, the party dresses for the ladies. We have parents participating mm -hmm. in the party scene. It really is a community thing, and uh, Sharpsburg Dance Academy is also mm -hmm. coming and and dancing. Oh, and Karen does such a good us. job. She with does, it. yeah. Yeah, she really does. Now, let's talk a little bit about your expansion because you have done so well since you have arrived in Noonan. How many years Thank have you, you been here? I've been here eight, but we've had the the company and the school two. We've started our third year. So now year. you're exploding, and now We're tell us where expanding. you're going to be. We're going to be at the uh, old Sears building. Right Behind Texas Roadhouse. Correct, and it's a Fun. great space, lots of room. We're right. planning five studios and there's room for storage and there's parking and there's parking very nice yeah good yeah, we're excited about it that is so cool now not only do you do special events like the nutcracker and sodage and those types of things but you also do dancing let's talk about what you're doing with parkinson's patients we have classes our classes start from three to adult <clears throat> and uh, adult classes are ballet, tap, jazz. But we've also, um, we offered a class for Parkinson's and it came out of a um, company out of New York, mm -hmm. Mark Morris Dance. He's a contemporary innovative choreographer and they've started working with Parkinson's, people with Parkinson's. And they found how um, wonderful dance is. Unlike doing physical therapy mm -hmm. or being at the gym mm -hmm. where you're doing random, continuous it moving. You have to mentally think of the movements. Absolutely. It's visual, mm -hmm. it's cognitive, mm -hmm. it's um, and it's interesting because there, there are different phases of Parkinson's. Some are, have the, the, the mm -hmm. obvious, the tremors, mm -hmm. and then there's another one where people completely freeze. And it must be very frustrating because they're not, there's nothing wrong with the, mm -hmm. with the brain. It's the connection with the brain to the, to the nervous system and the muscles. And so they know that they're frozen mm -hmm. and they actually have a, a sense of humor. When I was in New York <laughs> do, do, working, do they feel like you know, they're doing the mannequin challenge? Yes. They do. <laughs> we, were, we were doing this exercise, just tap, touch, step, touch to some West Side Story <laughs> theme thing coming across the floor. And this one lady just yelled out, I'm frozen, and she really could not. Oh, so her aide her heart. Yeah. came and just tapped her, and it looked like starting a car. Vroom. <laughs> she got her energy. But while That's they're awesome. moving, they're, the tremors stop because they have a, a purpose to move. They oh, have. A, my it's really beautiful. That is awesome. It's exciting. Well, you have you and I have talked multiple times about getting me into one of your classes. So I commit to you in 2017, I'm going to come Great. and be a part Great. of some sort of class because I know I would love it. Classes in the morning and in the evening. Saturday class does really well. It's a 9.30. Yeah the adult class and it's an intermediate beginnings. It I remember that well. when you first came and we did the, you got me to do the cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a challenge. That's right. <laughs> I was just like I had Fun. two left feet, yeah. but <laughs> well, it's always great to have you here. Great. I can't wait to see the Nutcracker. December 16th, 17th. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Family affair Wadsworth. at the Wadsworth. How fun. Thank two, you. Two tickets. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Make sure that you and your family have it on your calendar to go to the Wadsworth. December 16th or the 17th and go to southernartdance.org. We'll be right back with a lot more on the link.
Welcome back to The Link. We are delighted to welcome to the set of The Link Dr. Tanya Whitlock, the Vice President for Student Affairs for West Georgia Technical College. Tanya, welcome to The Link. Thank you, Mark. Tanya, it's great to have you here. It's a very busy time of the year for West Georgia Technical College. It's a very busy time of the year for you. Before we get into that, that busyness and all the things that are going on, help us understand a little bit about your background, who you are. You're one of those senior staff members who live in Coweta County and work across this seven county region for West Georgia Tech. Tell us a little bit about Tanya Whitlock. Well, Mark, I started out my career years ago as an industrial engineer. Okay. I went to Southern Polytechnical College and enjoyed my time there and um, went out into the workforce, uh, into manufacturing, and worked for uh, probably five or six years. And uh, I stumbled upon technical education. Um, it should have been natural to me because my parents were educators, but I kind of stumbled upon it. I was trying to uh, volunteer to tutor. Uh, I was at the uh, LaGrange in LaGrange, Georgia at the old West Georgia Technical College prior merger and um, I was just trying to um, tutor yes. and, and volunteer and it was actually a tutoring program connected with adult education I, mm -hmm. I believe and uh, so that's basically how I, I, I stumbled upon it. Uh, the gentleman I was talking to actually was uh, Representative um, um, Carl Von Epps, yeah. and he was on the board of directors for West Georgia Technical College. And it seems that uh, they knew, he knew about, uh, you know, they were having, uh, they had some opportunities basically. So he told me about them. Again, I was just trying to tutor, and I wasn't really interested, but things down the road, I, I came in contact with some other people, um, eventually ended up interviewing for one of the positions, and I got the position. Wow. So that's how I uh, migrated to technical education. And you, you've uh, risen in the ranks at West Georgia Tech. You were here a number of years ago helping us to yes. build West Georgia Tech's presence in Coweta County, and now you're at that senior staff level. Tanya, what's the role of the B VP of Student Affairs? What all are you responsible for? Well, one of our, my main responsibilities is the enrollment. You mm -hmm. know, the, the strategic, strategic enrollment plan is okay. under, uh, uh, under my, uh, uh, my yeah, job you're... title, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that's one of the main things that I do. But I, uh, I have uh, the registrar, the uh, admissions, portion, uh, financial aid, career services, um, athletics, uh, you know, quite a few things that uh, report to me. So um, those are several things, student life as well. Yeah. So y you are very busy. Mm -hmm. what, what is this time of the year for you? This is a very busy time. What's going on right now in your world at West Georgia Technical College? Well, at the college, we are, uh, of course, we've just completed all of the pro fairs and uh, quite a few uh, different visitations such as that. Okay. Um, and, that where, and that's where you're going out and you're part of a group of colleges and universities yes. who are giving out information to students all over the place. Correct, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. And, and that's general uh, recruitment activities yeah. for uh, really preparing for next fall. Yeah. Uh, however, we're also going into spring semester, so we've been uh, working for a, a long period of time on uh, spring semester in all of the different um, um, areas, you know, uh, adult education, uh, we recruit in that area, we recruit mm -hmm. in, um, uh, you know, look at our transient population, um, and we have artic articulation, so we are always working on those, uh, and, and, and um, like our 30 West program, so yeah. we're working with those students who uh, will transition from us, from West Georgia to us, and then back to, from us to University of West Georgia. So, so that engineering background helps you to develop these processes mm -hmm. and implement them and put them in place, yes. because West Georgia Tech I believe now the fourth largest among the 22 technical colleges in the state of Georgia and one of the few, Tanya, as I understand it, where enrollment continues to grow. Yes. Talk, talk a little bit about that as we end this first segment. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, we have been uh, uh, really, we're, we're very fortunate to have this past fall an enrollment of slightly over uh, 6,700 uh, students, and that was actually a 5.5 percent increase over last fall. Wow. So that's a wonderful thing for us, and uh, we've had uh, increased enrollment for the past three semesters. So you know, uh, that's a little uh, of an anomaly right now yeah. with uh, technical education. Um, so, but we, we're very, very proud of that fact and and we continue to work uh, diligently towards that goal. Tanya, as we end this segment, um, it, it, would it be fair to say that technical education generally sees a downturn in enrollment as the economy gets better? So this is going in the opposite direction. You continue to grow even as the economy continues to improve. That's true. That, yeah. that is very true. When we come back in the next segment, we're going to dig into some of the aspects of that. So stay tuned for the next segment of The Link. We're going to talk more with Dr. Tanya Whitlock, Vice President for Student Affairs at West Georgia Technical College. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate and it's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. Love. But what really makes up this country of ours? What is it we love? It's the people. Almost half the country belongs to minority groups. People who are lesbian, African American, and bi, and transgender, and Native American, and proud of it. After all, what's more American than freedom to celebrate the things that make us, us? This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, disability, sexuality, race, religion, and any other labels. Because the second any of us judge people based on those labels, we're not really being patriotic, are we? Because love has no labels. Welcome back to The Link. We're delighted that Dr. Tanya Whitlock, Vice President for Student Affairs at West Georgia Technical College, is back with us for another segment on The Link. Tanya, in our first segment, we began to talk about that growth and enrollment uh, for which you're responsible at West Georgia <laughs> Technical College. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that as an anomaly, mm -hmm. that generally in technical education, when the economy gets better, enrollment goes down. West Georgia Tech continues to grow. Let's explore that a little bit. Why is West Georgia Tech among the few colleges in the state that's continuing to grow? What's happening? Well, you know, one thing, we'll go ahead and state the obvious. With the move on when ready, as the, the law changed a year ago, okay. uh, now we That's have the dual the, enrollment of high school students in college yes, while they're in high school. Yes, yeah. okay. and so now those uh, we have, uh, those opportunities are availed to students starting in ninth grade. Okay. So ninth and tenth graders are now able uh, more readily to get into those programs. Um, uh, to help expand that, you know, we have gone to each of the school systems in all of our seven counties in order to speak with them about you know programming opportunities things that they like would like to see us uh, expand in and uh, if we can expand quickly in many areas we have expanded pretty quickly added classes um, um, even if we have to uh, in smaller counties teach classes at their location we're able to do that for counties who might have busing issues you know uh, providing transportation uh, for the students, we're able to do that as well. So just being very nimble and uh, able to respond to what the school systems do need. Tanya, you've grown that dual enrollment pretty rapidly. Yes. I mean, we're passing the thousand mark. Mm -hmm. We may wind up nearly 1,500 by the end of this year yes. out of a credit enrollment of about 7,000, 6,700, 7,000. That's a significant part of the enrollment. Yes, it is a growing portion of the enrollment and one where we have to pay more and more attention to. This fall we have 
almost 1,100, uh, about 10, 1087, I think is the exact number. And, uh, and we, our goal is 1,500 for this school year. So we believe that we will easily, uh, uh, that's unduplicated students as well. So we, we believe we will achieve that goal. And uh, so we continue striving in those areas, again, just looking for the opportunities that um, will help the, the individual students uh, obtain their goals. Tanya, why do you think it is that students, high school students and parents are catching on to this dual enrollment, this move on when ready as the law calls it? What, what's the key there? Well, you know, Mark, I wish this was around when I was in school. Yeah. It gives the student the opportunity to um, dive into these programs, um, career opportunities, um, if they uh, uh, choose to uh, stop after they have finished the certificate program, they can. If they want to move on uh, to a diploma degree program two year, they can. If they want to shift into a, take some core classes and, and transfer to into a four year uh, university, they can. I mean, I mean, it just makes sense basically. And then um, the cost is, is, is wonderful for them, it's zero for a move on when ready student. So, uh, you know, basically it's it's very uh, a, a wonderal deal, I believe. Yeah, what a know? great deal! What a mm -hmm. great deal, Tanya. As we begin to wrap up this segment, we can't uh, stop talking with you without talking about what you helped to build here in Coweta. Now we've got the Coweta campus, the CEC instructional site, and we're recognizing the excellence yes. of instructors in this community. Last year, Dr. Angela Brown the Technical College Instructor of the Year. Yes, for the entire state. For the entire state of Georgia. Just don't understand. For yes. the entire state of yes. Georgia. Right here from the Coweta campus. Mm -hmm. This year, Dr. Jeremy Bishop has just been chosen to represent West Georgia Tech in that competition. Mm -hmm. Talk about what's happening in Coweta, because this this is this is exciting. You know, I've been calling it uh, Coweta County as uh, Wintersville, USA. I've kind of uh, kind of nicknamed it that, uh, coming taking that from Valdosta from years back. You, you grew I, up in I Valdosta. I grew up in Valdosta, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you know, so I've kind of coined uh, Coweta County in Newton, Georgia's Wintersville, USA. And uh, that's what we're seeing here. I mean, um, even when we look at the um, the goal, the, the uh, uh, Rick Perkins um, competition, uh, seven out of the uh, seven out, no, three out of the seven were yeah. from Coweta County. Yeah. So we we were well represented, and Dr. Jeremy Bishop is going to do a wonderful job representing us in in uh, technical education at at the state conference in um, April. Just um, just as Dr. Brown has, has represented the entire system, exactly. Yeah, she has done absolutely. a wonderful job. Absolutely. Yes. Dr. Tanya Whitlock, Vice President, Student Affairs, West Georgia Technical College. Thank you for the work that you do for the entire region, for this community. Thank you for serving on the CEC Board of Directors. And we appreciate the fact that you've helped to grow West Georgia Technical College here in Coweta County. Well, I have to say it was always a team effort. Always a wonderful, team effort. Wonderful, wonderful individuals that I work with. So it's just not me, it's to accredit it to them as well. Great team, great team. Mm -hmm. You stay tuned, the link will be right back. of Christmas is almost here. Brace yourself for all the Christmas you can handle. I'd like that. Television's number one tradition returns. Toast to our families and to Christmas. With 19 new holiday movie premieres. Merry Christmas to you. All season long. Only on Hallmark Channel. Watch your favorite Christmas movies on the Hallmark Channel. New Link, Channel 855. During the Christmas season, there are a lot of activities to keep up with. Sam, what do you have this week? 
Hello, hello, I'm Sam and welcome to another community calendar. Today we have a whole new host of events for you to enjoy. Chattahoochee Bend State Park will be hosting Santa on Saturday, December 10th from 12 to 1.30 p.m. Have your picture taken and sent via email or snap your own. Sip hot chocolate and take care of some shopping while you're there. For more information, visit www.georgiastateparks.org. A holiday Christmas open house will be on Sunday, December 11th from noon to 4 p.m. in downtown Noonan. The event will feature entertainment and food trucks. At least 20 downtown merchants will take part in the open house festivities. First United Methodist Church will host a job network meeting on Tuesday, December 13th at 6 p.m. in Parish Hall. The church is located at 33 Greenville Street. For more information, call 770-253-7400. That's all for this week's community calendar. Tune in next week for more local events the whole community can enjoy. I'm Sam, and I'm also logging off. At Christmas time, everyone needs a puppy. Let's take a look at the Labrador mix named Pumpkin. Hi, I am Jamie from Noonan Coweta Humane Society here at Animal Control, and this is our pet of the week. This is Pumpkin. Look at her and her belly. Look at this sweet girl, oh my goodness. Um, Pumpkin is hanging out in B2, black and tan Labrador retriever mix, estimated to be over a year old. She is already spayed and she is heartworm negative, and she is ready for her forever home. She's been here since August 12th, way too long. Bless her heart. She knows commands. She was sitting for me. She was shaking hands and giving, you know, I don't know if she likes this treat, but <laughs> but um, again, she's ready for her forever home. So if you can come on down and get her out of her kennel, she is in B2, um, and get her a home for the holidays. Welcome back to the link. Lana, great show this week. I love talking to Paulo. His yep. enthusiasm is contagious and infectious, and I just love him, and he is going to do a fabulous job for the Nutcracker. He's going to do an amazing job. Did I hear him say that he's going moving into the, the Sears building? He is. They have expanded so much, so yeah. rapidly, yeah. that they're moving out of their current location. They will now have five studios, plenty of parking, plenty of spaces for yeah. costuming, and the two ladies that they have that make all the costumes, which I think a lot of people don't really realize, right. Right. but that's a lot of that's a lot of sewing for yeah. all these people that are going to be in that, you know, that event. And they need the space to grow because they they're growing. They're so growing the, rapidly. Right. So yeah. they're going to be in the Sears building behind Texas Roadhouse. And, and did I hear you commit to take a class? I this did. Upcoming year? Well, I also will commit. After I learn whatever it is I'm going to be, <laughs> he's trying to teach me, that we might film it. How about that? That sounds great. Did you also hear him commit to being a contestant in Dragging for Dollars coming up March 18th? You know, I think I heard that. Yep. I think I heard that. So Katie Brady and my other board members on Southeastern Assistance and Healthcare will be very happy that we got one more guy to commit to Dragging for Dollars. With real talent. With real talent, <laughs> yes. With it's not going to be doing a hula hoop. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed talking with Dr. Tanya mm -hmm. Whitlock, and we learned even more about the unique role that West Georgia Tech plays. Mm -hmm. You know, West Georgia Tech um, focuses on workforce development, mm -hmm. but it's also a place where people can go and gain credit to transfer onto university, mm -hmm. where they can go back to retool and change mm -hmm. careers, and it's one of the very few colleges in this state where enrollment continues to grow, and that's Tanya's area of responsibility. It's wonderful in our community that people can go back right here and get new skills so that they can get good jobs right here with all the manufacturing and all the new companies moving to town. And lots of great talent. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the instructor of the year for right. West Georgia Tech from the Coweta campus. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as we said in the opening, it's Saturday, December 10th at 6 p.m. is the Christmas parade, downtown right. Noonan. On the 11th is the Holiday Open House with all the, the downtown stores. Uh, from noon until 4, yeah. there will be food trucks. There will be, you know, uh, specials in the stores. I've been doing some shopping, and there's really no reason for anyone to go outside of downtown Noonan. This is the shop. place to get what you need You for can Christmas. get anything from a $5 item to a $500 item for anybody right downtown. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Well, we had a great show. hope everybody will join us again next week. Have a great week. Thanks. See you next time.